we must have dreamed this up together because we weren't getting it what the planet okay. needed what okay. culture what we needed to do to meet each other absolutely we've dreamed this up together one way of understanding that people who say who were like still in denial and thinking oh yeah well we'll get through this and then we'll return to normal no you know to the good old days or to business there, as usual there or is whatever. no normal <laughs> you know, we're never returning back because that that was a nightmare that was a collective psychosis what we were in in that the veneer everything you know was fine and yet we were enacting collective suicide there's no doubt about that we were destroying the biosphere the life support system of the planet that we depend on for our very survival we don't want to return to that okay so the the, the thing is yeah you know, from the deeper point of view we've dreamed up a wake up you know to show us to actually show us you know, like our situation, that we're not separate, that we're incredibly creative, and that the one of the, the main sort of symptoms of the coronavirus is we become so entranced by the physical, by out there trying to heal it, which we need to do. We absolutely need to do that, but then we can, we can ignore that it's actually touching us in our own psyches, whether it's an anxiety or stress or fear, and that's the way in that's showing us that our true power and agency is to be found within ourselves. Okay, so that's another of its gifts. Can we really um, heal it if we don't realize that we've dreamed it up? Like when you work with people in your yeah, groups yeah. and there's like some outside stimulus or some, some issue comes up in the groups, you say, hey, do you see how you dream that up and what are you dreaming up there? And, and once some, you take responsibility for dreaming it up, it sort of shifts. This is, this is what you're asking yeah. us to do. We're all dreaming together, you know? And the, but the thing I'm saying is that particularly now, things have gotten, people are saying, oh my God, this is so dreamlike. I'm, I'm in a sci-fi movie. You know, I mean, everybody is feeling it. Everybody around the planet. And what I'm saying is, just look at that. Just take it, just listen to what they're saying, that this universe is revealing itself to be more dreamlike. That's encoded in the pandemic. And, and what I'm saying is, what if we utilize that? And, all, and the way to utilize that is to like, okay, part of, like I was saying, part of the vector of transmission of the coronavirus is physical and part is mental and the mental it can evoke fear and if we actually don't get caught by that fear okay of course we're going to feel afraid it's a fearful situation but we don't want to like identify with that or get caught by that and then if you don't get caught by it guess what all of a sudden this incredible opportunity is available to you to recognize the dreamlike nature in a way that it has never been offered to us before Right, we're re exactly. I, I I get it because it is dreamlike. It's it, it is surreal. It is, and there is no returning to normal. 